put it well, a small glimmer of hope for a market that really needs it right now. New rentals in Manhattan increasing 33 percent in October. That is the first increase in over a year. Brokers say the fall in prices are finally starting to lure young renters back to the city. Now, rentals uh, prices falling by 19 percent. That is a record drop, and landlords are offering two months of free rent right now as an incentive. The average rent paid, including discounts now, about $2,900 a month. Also, some good news on the sales side as well. Sales contracts between November 1st and November 11th, so that includes the election news and that vaccine news. That increased 21 percent. That marked the first year-over-year increase since the pandemic in March. Now, Manhattan has a really long climb back here, guys. There were 16,000 unrented, apart, unrented apartments in, in October. That was a record. The vacancy rate in Manhattan normally is about 2%, now over 6%. You add in the potential rise in cases, the huge supply of real estate that's expected to come online this year and next in Manhattan, and any comeback is likely to be very slow. Now, just for an example, this 2,000-square-foot three-bedroom in the financial district was listed for $14,000 a month, now down to $10,000 a month, but there are over 25 other apartments for rent in the same building, Kelly. So that just gives you a sense of even with a 19% decline in rent prices, there's still a lot of supply and a lot of choice for renters and buyers. Yeah, the New York Post today features millennials who can now afford to live alone in the city because rents have dropped so much. And that's, I mean, that's what they're excited about. That's how tight the market usually is. Um, but are we seeing a similar rebound effect, Robert, yet on the, uh, on the purchasing side of things? So the rentals, we're seeing a rebound, but what about on purchases? It's interesting. So rentals are two thirds of the market in Manhattan. So the sales side is smaller and slower and prices have fallen 19 percent of the rental side. But on the sales side, they've only only fallen between five and 10 percent. So what you have there is a game of chicken where sellers have not lowered prices enough yet to lure to lure buyers back into the sales market. And we're just going to have to see whether sellers finally capitulate in the coming months, but not really the signs of strength in the sales side that we're seeing on the rental side quite yet. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.